Property assessments are soaring in Jackson County. And now homeowners are worried they won't be able to afford the taxes. $45,000 and this year it jumped um, to over $100,000. $78,295. And then this year it's 204106 So more than double for some people. The county says these assessments come from a computer generated model. It says it's not everything perfectly fitting into the model. Some are seeing an increase because of the strong housing market, which is up nearly 9%. However, there is a small percentage of our homes that are receiving some more significant increases. Some of that is because they may have reaped the benefits of their homes being undervalued for a while, and so it really is sticker shock. Property, property owners have until June 24th if they wish to appeal the assessment. So the question for some is, how do you win your appeal? We went to an expert to find out how to make the best case. Reporter Kat Reed joins us live now. Kat, you also spoke with several property owners planning to fight their assessments today. That's right, guys. I spoke with a woman who paid $23 in taxes last year on a vacant lot in Beacon Hill. The estimate for 2019, get this, you guys, $250, and she plans to fight it. We spoke with an attorney who specializes in these appeals and knows how to win win. Last year the property tax was $41.40 and then you jumped up to $250.93? Serious? No, uh -uh, I don't think so. We have a problem. Amy Robertson has a math problem. She actually has several. The house behind me was $167.68 and it jumped up to $639.49. That's no, that's not right. She owns six properties, including several vacant lots on Tracy in the Beacon Hill neighborhood. The taxes was one twenty nine thirty two, according to their their paperwork now, and now they're going to jump it up to twelve twenty seven fifty one. Robertson wasn't the only one knocked on her heels by new property assessments. I don't know. I just don't know what to say. I I'm somewhat at a loss for words, and I'm rarely that. We definitely plan to appeal. A hundred percent increase plus is way too much for a one year valuation. But the appeals process can be complicated. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean you, you're going to win. Right? Charlie Highland so represents yeah, businesses yeah. in commercial appeals. His first bit of advice, pay attention to deadlines and build your case. Be prepared. Have comparable sales, have an appraisal done. Compile evidence that shows why your assessment is incorrect. That's and right. hopefully the math on it, your property will change. I think it's going to be a, a pretty big challenge and possibly a little bit costly for us to pull together. We don't mind whatever steps we have to take. We, th this is not fair. It's simply not fair. And guys, here is another piece of advice. If you have any damage or needed repairs at your property, document those and get an estimate on the cost of fixing them. That could bring your assessment down. In the newsroom, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.